my god. Oh! That thing is huge. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm really good. Right here. That's a really nice one. Ready? Pressure on it. Oh, you lost it. Put that, that was at 20, Mike. 20? All right, going down. How does that happen? It's hooked good, ready to go. Hey, what's up everyone out there? Welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. Today, we are doing something super exciting. We actually have a professional chef on the boat. This guy cooks some of the most delicious, he, okay, I'm just joking. He's not really professional, but he cooks some delicious food. So what we're gonna do today, we're in a familiar place, or maybe not familiar to some of you people, but we're in Astoria, Oregon, fishing for salmon on what we basically call the Super Bowl of salmon fishing. Big old huge estuary, lots of Chinook, lots of coho, smorgasbord of fish. We already lost one, got a jack, had a few chances, but we're gonna cook some Cajun blackened salmon, right Mikey? Yeah, we're gonna hook it up. Make Introduce it yourself. I'm Mike Thomas, I'm here with boys. We're gonna make some fish, it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna cook it on the boat and bring you guys along for this little adventure. We hope you enjoy today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, tap that subscribe button. Stay tuned, salmon coming up. Jack, Jack on. Oh my God, he's pulling like it. Gotta be careful. That's a nice one. Whoa, did you see him jump? Take care of that thing, dude, that's our future. That's our future right there, everyone. Go get big, buddy. Get big. Big fish. Get that net ready. Folks, keep away from the motor, dude. Oh, that's such a nice fish. That is a freaking soft fish. Dude, hell yeah. Mmm, that a boy. Oh, that'll put a smile on your face. Yee! That is a good fish. That's a really good fish. Oh, he's coming at you. Oh, he's on the strip. That is such a nice fish. Oh! <laughs> Ready? That's a giant. Coming at you. Oh my god, that's huge, dude. That thing is huge. <laughs> that fish is huge. <laughs> oh my god, Marlon. That thing is huge. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that thing is huge! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude, that's that's big. That's a stud. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that's high 20. Twenty-four. I'm gonna say 28. I'm gonna say 26.4. 24. 23. It's basically 24. 24. I feel like a 24. 24, is that what you guessed? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck, you guessed it dead on? Yeah. 24, baby. Number one fish, dude. First one to buoy 10 like this. And my first one ever, you have to actually get it. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. That's 
Break? What pound test was this? That's uh 40, 40. That is so lame. That was a big fish. A four. Oh, he came off. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Bro! It just, it literally popped off like right there. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. What is going on? Unbelievable. Oh. We're gonna Piano. come back, stay tuned. <laughs> we gotta say a few curse words. Went out to 150. <laughs> Went out to 200. I'm gaining on it now. He's just holding there. It scares me with these freaking seals and crap, dude. I gotta get this thing. I can see Flasher here. Get him! Oh my god! God. That was such a big fish too. Dude, that was a big fish. Oh. Did Dude, where did it break? Oh, oh it just popped. Oh, Dude, that was so... We had him. That was such a big fish. That was every bit as big as Mikey. Dude, that was huge. I saw the back shoulders of him. Dude, that's a big fish. Oh, no. Oh, my God. So we just got a great day on the water today. We got off the water and here we are at the dock. We're about to cut this fish up. We're gonna take a little tail piece here and we're gonna do our own rendition of a, pretty much a black and Cajun salmon. Normally, if I were gonna do this, you know, I'd be at home and whatnot, have a hot, black iron skillet ready to cook, hot and smoky, but we're gonna do the best we can out here and see how she goes. So I got a beautiful king salmon here that we caught. I'm gonna flay it up. Let's take a little chunk off it, see what we got here and uh, we'll go on from there. Stay tuned, here we go. That knife is super sharp. So it is good. It's like oh it's like God. really sharp. So be careful, dude. I can't even cut with that. That was so sharp. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. Ready to go. We got a nice little tail chunk. Got it all flayed out and ready to go. Marlin's over here. We got a little burner that we're using. He's gonna pour in the oil for us. You guys know me, I'm like Chef Boy RD over here. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited to eat this. So ready right to go. So what I like to do, you know, sometimes you can take the skin off, you know, flay it out, take it piece by piece. What I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna cut nice little chunks of it. Then you go down, you got one, you got two, and we'll just blacken this whole deal right here. You know, if I was at home and whatnot. Well, you, gotta cut, you gotta cut one more so it's a piece for everyone. Oh, there we go. Well, there you go, buddy. Yeah, Sean bad. gets that little. Sean gets. A, he earned this piece right here. This is his earned piece right there. So, what you normally do, you know, I'd probably heat up some butter. I'd melt it. I'd put it all over this. Take my little baster over there. Brush it on. Take my Cajun seasonings. But out here, we don't have all those, you know, easy luxuries. So, what we got here is salmon. Oil is heating up right here and whatnot. And you got different kind of seasonings over here. You look at you. You got Creole seasoning. You got. My own home blend, you know, I got a whole bunch of different mix mixins in there. Cajun, flavor god, love it. And then you got Magic Season. So, whatever you'd like to use, you know, whatever your flavor would be. I love Chetra's Creole. Probably one of my favorite. You can find it in any of your Fred Meyers, Albertsons, and whatnot. It's great seasoning, works great. Sprinkle it on. Just like so. Get it going, get it going. Do a little bit different. We got flavor god here, another Cajun favorite. 
gonna be hot. It's gonna get smoky. It's gonna get real good and going, but they don't call it black and fish for nothing. We're gonna eat Cajun style on you. This is my own favorite. A little bit of extra season on there. Man-made, homemade. Once you got that all done, this is definitely hot as you can see. It's going full on frying oil here. We're gonna take this and you wanna back up a little bit here. We're gonna get her going. Just like so. A normal deal, you can get them hot. You know, that thought was a cast iron skillet, It'd be about two, three minutes on each side. I mean, you're gonna have puffs of smoke, everything's gonna be going, and it'd be done. One flip, and that's it. Here, you know, because we're limited on heat resource and whatnot, this is gonna be start cooking like that. It smells so good. I wish you guys were here. I wish there was a feature on YouTube. You guys should thumbs up this video. If you wish there was a feature, you could like push a button and you guys could smell the salmon. How would that, how badass would that be? A little virtual That'd reality. That would be so good, yeah. So here we are, just cooking our salmon, you know. You can so see it good. turning pink, getting as hard as we can, and it's going. Do nothing better than ending the day of fishing with your buddies, cooking up some sink. Yeah. And we want this nice, crispy black top on with all your Cajun seasoning and whatnot, and a good, moist fish in the center of it. It's delicious. When you're feeling like you want to get real fat, what you do <laughs> is you grab a half stick of butter and you put that in there with it all. Yeah, buddy. And then things get real tasty. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Flavor in there. Man. That's going to melt in there, and we're going to have just pure deliciousness. She's dialed. She is dialed. Got Marlon over here getting our sides ready. A little green bean action. Gerber knife cut right through metal. Oh yeah. You know, just real high class. Del Monte quality fresh cut green beans. We just dumped like four of them out on the ground. That's what you're looking for, bro. Bro, I just cleaned them, bro. You want this nice black and top end like that. All the extra butter and whatnot, just basting it in there. That's all flavor. It, and realistically, though, there's not much to this, right? Just a few seasonings. No, a few seasonings and whatnot. You know, I've been, like I said earlier, we could buy seasonings ready to go. You got Creole, you got butter. a little butter here, you got. You know, Cajun seasoning and whatnot. You can buy a regular old blackened seasoning that Ooh, they make at the store. Ooh, fire going. You know, or you can go home and make your own. You know, like this one right here. This is my own I make for my family. You know, some cayenne pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of brown sugar in there. Just to give that a nice little tart, but I love it. It's great, works good. Keep basting it with that butter and oil. Dish up here. Dish up, give her a whirl. Like I said, man, this stuff pairs really well. You got rice and stuff. Marlon pulled out some green beans. It goes well with pretty much any side. The moment of truth, folks. Moment of truth, see what it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, just flakes apart. Nice, crispy ends. That's delicious. Mmm. That's really good. I All right. This was literally caught probably less than about two, three hours ago. Um, Got back to the dock and here we are eating this. Dude, it's perfect. It's not, it's not like over seasoned. It's like just right. Mm -hmm. Not too much butter. You don't want to take away from the fish. You know, you want that fish to have its own flavor. Like you're still eating fish, not mask you with all this butter, Dude. oil, stuff that you can just kill the flavor of it. That's good, my good. Mm. Look at that. That is. Yes. Mm. Peel it out. Mine's all gone. So good. Sean, here you are. It's like melting my <laughs> mouth. That is mm. so good, Mikey. Good job. That is good stuff. Pull that little flavor to it, huh? Put them in there. Put them in there. Woo! Oh, yeah. A little, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little more. A little more. A little more. Flavor. Flavor town, baby. Flavor town. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in, Mike. Thanks so much for cooking the fish, dude. No it was problem. freaking amazing. I'm about to get have a heart attack by eating these buttery green beans. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget, please smash that thumbs up button. If you guys want to see more of our content, don't forget to click this video right here. And if you're brand new to the channel, tap that little subscribe button right here. And to all of our subscribers, we appreciate every single one of you. Here is comment of the day. If you want an opportunity to be featured as one of our comments of the day, just drop some comments below. Make sure you're one of our subscribers, and we'll see you on the river.